Here and welcome back to a brand new Sims 4 Speedball on the channel, people. How y'all doing? How y'all doing, my friends? I hope you're all doing amazing. And today, welcome, welcome to a very cool design, I think, at least. Um, we are today gonna build a alien spaceship restaurant. And there's a background story for this build, but um, but uh, yeah, there's one main reason why I decided to do that, and it's because of the rounded walls, people. Yes, you're probably gonna get a lot of builds from me that are involving rounded walls, because I I'm not gonna lie. In the past, I would try to make this build um, with the hexagon design like you know the, the room is hexagon and, and then just play with um, rounded roofs just like I did over here but it never felt okay it never felt completed uh, without rounded walls so now I'm giving it another try when we have them when we finally got them and uh, there is a background story for it so uh, stay tuned for that but first and foremost I want to know from you people do you believe in aliens are you like the, the world is is divided into two type of people those who believe in them and those who don't I honestly believe that there is a chance that we are not alone call them alien call them out of space people which I don't know calling them alien might be offensive for them anyway which type of people do <laughs> are you like do you believe in them and you or you don't let me know in the comment section down below but Right now you can see that how fast we're moving. Look at that, look at that, look at that. We already created the, the spaceship design, which, by the way, if you have the uh, um, Strangerville pack, you're gonna have the full, well, at least design of, of the spaceship because those uh, weirdly things that I placed underneath the, 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 I think that they are like air filter or something like that, they belong to uh, also to the Strangerville pack. So basically you're gonna have the full design. And I'm using those beautiful strip lights underneath just to, to add a bit more of a hovering feeling to it, you know? Now, um, some numbers, just like always. Um, we are on a 20 by 20 lot in um, Del Delso Valley. No, we're not in Delso Valley, in Strangerville. And uh, we know that this place is in the theme of weird things happening, you know, aliens. We have the lab over here and some experiments stuff going on over there and stuff like that. So it's just obvious or it's just asking for it to build something like this over here. Now, in this build, you're going to see in a bit, there is a storyline. Okay, the storyline, background story, more like it, uh, of course, in my head. Now, the story is, this is like Area 52. For those who do not know what Area 52 or... 52? 51. <laughs> or never really heard about it. Um, it's more like a area in... It's like an area in the United States where there are many speculations over there regarding um, supernatural alien activity stuff. And, of course, people do like the idea of, of thinking that there are some aliens over there, but um, the, the most, the most um, common thinking is that there are some aliens in that area, or there was a crash over there with aliens. So, this is basically based on that, okay, like, this build is based on that theory or, or that thinking. And um, ju just like this world in, in, in the game is basically based on that. And right there, you can see me placing that crushed uh, alien uh, spaceship on the ground, which comes with, I believe this is Get Famous. I think it's a prop um, from Get Famous pack. And I'm trying to make it look like it has been crashed over there and left over there. Uh, basically, the, the background story is that the owner of this place He's the one who found it, and it crashed on his property, so he just um, informed the, uh, the the government for, for what happened, and they send a, a police unit to investigate and place some barriers around it, And um, but they never really took it from the place. 
And for the smartest person who's gonna say, wait a minute, but taking it out of this place, uh, it's, it's way faster than building a full restaurant in the shape of, of a spaceship near it. So I have one answer for you. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Doesn't have to be logical. Anyway, so so the owner of this place build um, build a restaurant in the shape of, of an alien spaceship just to attract other people to come over here and grab something. It's more like a tourist um, activity or maybe even a um, trap, I don't know. <laughs> and there are going to be a lot of brochures lying around uh, with a lot of um, papers scattering around. The whole place, because it's Strangerville, it's, it's a bit messy. Um, it's not like a neat place. Uh, it doesn't serve good food, at least in my, at least like in my mind. And of course, it really depends on on the menu that you're gonna build, uh, build or you're gonna add into this uh, into this restaurant. Um, the inside is basically just um, restroom and uh, the like the chef stations. There are two chef stations inside, so you have plenty of room uh, to serve a lot of tables because you can. Uh, sit. I think there are like seven or nine tables. This actually can be a really profitable restaurant if you know how to run it, or you, should, you can just come over here uh, uh, to chill with your Sims. Which bring, brings me to the next question for me, for me, for you, <laughs> like from me to you. Anyway, the next question is that are you like a traveler simmer? This is a very important question for me, people. If you, if you are uh, not quite sure what I mean, I, like what, what do I mean by traveler simmer? Is that when you're playing the game, do you take your sim and travel with them between worlds to enjoy specific or special uh, bar, restaurant, um, some activities, or you are one of those who play in one world uh, the, the full game, something like that? Because I don't know about you, and you're gonna see that actually at the cinematics at the end. You're gonna see um, the the goth family coming over here just to enjoy some time. So basically, they, the, the, they are travelers <laughs> just to enjoy this very unique design of of, of, um, of a restaurant. So let me know: Do you travel with your Sims, or are you more like um, eating with in like in the restaurant in your current uh, world that you're also living in and working in and stuff like that? Do let me know that. Now, one thing that I want to point out, you probably noticed that I placed mannequins in this build. Yes, because I dressed them like aliens. The whole idea is, is that, right? It's like aliens um, restaurant theme. So um, one thing that you really need to know that there are two types of mannequins in the game. One of them will cause your game to crash when you try to download uh, a lot from the gallery. This one is not the one, and I want to point out which one is it if you want to know. I said it once, I say it again. There are two types of mannequins. One of them is more detailed. You can actually see like a face and hair and stuff like that. The other one actually looks more like a doll without eyes and without stuff. It's less like curved. The face is less curved and less detailed, if you know what I mean. That type will not cause your game to crush people, important thing. And as far as I know from my tests and testing, it will not make your game crash. So that's the one I upload here. Do let me know if it will crash for you. I will upload this build without the mannequins. Anyway, people, we are at the end of this video. Look at that, I just ate your brain with a spoon, just like an alien. Uh, if you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel. If you enjoy this video, hit the like button. And until the next time, enjoy the tour. I'll see you again at the next time. Keep that party going for me, because Architect is a signing off. I'm like an alien in love, love.